Yeah, there are a number of reasons why your pool may be cloudy. This particular pool, the problem with it was the filter problem, and the filter was just replaced. It wasn't filtering properly, and the filter was about 20 years old. So with the new filter, it should clear up very nicely. So a good sized filter was installed here to take care of the problem. This one's cloudy, not for lack of chlorine. As you can see, it's got a really good chlorine level. Uh, it just was a filtration problem. So that's one of the things that could be wrong with your pool if the water is cloudy and you have a good chlorine reading. And also if your filter's not running long enough, you should cycle your water through at least once a day. Twice is optimal. Depending on your filter size will be the amount of time it takes to circulate through. So check your owner's manual on your filter. You can look it up online. So this pool will clear up just for the fact that it's going to take time to cycle through and get all the cloudiness out. A lot of it had to do with the, fil the old filter not filtering properly. So once this thing cycles through a day or two, it'll be crystal clear. And here's that old filter in my truck ready to be recycled. And again, you know, your filter is a key component to water clarity. So that's your number one thing to check first. And this pool is a little cloudy because it has actually has a filter leak. And you can see I put something in there and you can see that the uh, filter is shooting it right back out into the pool from the return jet. And that's why this pool is a little cloudy because it's got a slight filter leak. And again, here's another reason why a pool can get cloudy. This actual grid, you can actually see it's got a rip in it causing the DE to go back in there and also causing it not to filter properly. So I'm going to clean these off to see if there's any more broken grids. There's actually five grids that are bad on this filter. And this is a telltale sign that your filter is actually leaking element. You'll see the earth in the pool or spa. You know your filter has a leak at that point. And this pool is cloudy because I ran out of chems and it was actually really green last week and I we had shocked and brought it back. So it's still a little bit um, cloudy due to a lack of chems and circulation. So I'm going to vacuum out any excess algae on the bottom. Then I'm going to clean the filter again and put about two gallons of chlorine and two or three bags of shock. So this pool is cloudy for a combination of two things. Again, it's out of chlorine and it needs to have the filter cleaned. Okay, so let's have a look in the filter and see what we got going on here. And you can see the filter is still pretty green from last week's uh, cleanup. So I'm going to hose that off. That will get some more circulation to that pool definitely clear it up. So a big component of cloudy water is your filter condition, so make sure it's clean. And the other component, of course, is your chemical levels. So those are the two main things that cause the pool water to turn cloudy. And so I'm going to clean off these grids and refer to any of my filter cleaning videos. I think I have most of the filters on my channel. And we want to clean your filter at least twice a year, every six months or so, sometimes more often, to avoid the cloudy pool. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back, uh, charge the filter up with some DE and turn everything back on. I'm also going to fill the floater up with tablets, put the chlorine in, and I'm going to use the yellow trine for a little bit of the yellow that's in here. And I have a video on how to get rid of algae also. And the key is to, to raise the chlorine level up pretty quickly by superchlorinating the pool. That will help eliminate the cloudiness in the water along with a clean filter circulating the pool. I'm going to put a couple capfuls of yellow trine in here. And I'm going to put some Cal Hypo Super Shock, which is about 70% available chlorine directly into the skimmer so it circulates. And if you have a DE filter, don't forget to charge up your filter with the right amount of earth. Putting too little earth in there will also affect the water clarity. So if it's a 60 square foot, you want to put 10 one pound coffee cans in. 48 square foot, you want to put 8. And a 36 square foot, you want to put 6. You have too little earth covering the grid, so what will happen is they'll build up with dirt and not cause the pool to circulate properly. The DE is there to prevent dirt from actually clogging the grids. It's kind of like a protective barrier between the dirt and the grid, so you need to have the right amount in your pool. You can see the pool is actually circulating really well now through the cleaning.
and that should clear up pretty good it's got a little bit of a tint to it from the green that I brushed out but that'll settle down on the bottom and clear up and the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this thing run for 24 hours to kind of help with the circulation that way it circulates the water through at least five or six times um, until it turns off again uh, tomorrow around noon Here's a pool that actually has some total chlorine in it and it's showing on the AquaCheck strip you can actually see the yellow. So there's chlorine in the pool but it's not really effective because it has combined with nitrogen causing the cloudiness in the water so it's not an effective uh, bacteria killer right now. And. Um, you can actually see there is actually chlorine in the water, but the pool is very cloudy, and that's what happens when you have that combined chlorine. So I'm going to shock the pool to bring up the free chlorine. I'm going to add some oxidizer, the shock trine, to uh, get rid of some of the chloramines that are causing the combined chlorine. And you can uh, add a strong oxidizer like this shock trine here, and that will help get rid of the cloudiness and kill the chloramines, which are actually formed by the combined chlorine. If you want to keep your pool sparking blue like this one here, you got to remember to make sure your filter runs long enough to cycle the water tr through. Make sure your filter is clean at least twice a year and if it gets old you need to replace that filter that way it circulates well and you want to make sure you check the chemical levels every week. And you can see this pool is actually running about eight hours a day which is fine in the summer to cycle the water through. It's about a 25,000 gallon pool and it's got a 60 uh, square foot filter that I clean every uh, twice a year, every six months. It is combined chlorine and that's when your free active chlorine combines with nitrogen in the pool. Basically when you have a party, sweat, uh, any kind of urine leakage, suntan lotion will combine with the chlorine uh, causing it not to be effective. And what you notice is the pool will actually turn cloudy and you'll actually smell like an ammonia smell. The Taylor test kit actually tests for combined chlorine, but it's kind of a hard test to do for a homeowner. And the AquaCheck actually has a combined chlorine reading on their strip that you can actually test for, a total chlorine reading. And the total chlorine is actually the amount of combined and active chlorine in your pool to give you that reading. So you don't want any combined chlorine in your pool at all. You want it all to be free and active. So. If your total chlorine shows any kind of combined chlorine, you're definitely going to need to add an oxidizer and shock your pool. So if you have a party, you notice the next day the pool is cloudy. Uh, definitely you probably have some com combined chlorine going on there. So you want to get a good test kit to test for the pH and the chlorine weekly. You want to make sure your chlorine level is pretty high consistently to keep it from zeroing out and causing that cloudy water. So again, if your pool does have some combined chlorine in it, you want to run your pool longer you want to shock it with some liquid chlorine or Cal Hypo Super Shock. And you want to also add a couple bags of shock trine, depending on the size of your pool, to help eliminate the uh, chloramines in the water causing that cloudiness. And if you take those steps, the pool will bounce back very quickly.